The Interreligious Foundation for Community Organization was founded in 1967 by religious leaders who worked closely with the civil rights movement alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Gail Walker, the current co-director of the organization, says the group works to provide aid to impoverished people in the United States as well as around the world, and that in 2009 the organization raised money to send medical supplies to Gaza. As people of faith, as people of conscience, uh, a 47-year-old organization um, committed to social justice um, here locally, nationally, and internationally uh, have a right and a responsibility to uh, speak out against injustice. The people of Gaza had been being um, uh, persecuted, uh, and we felt that it was important to support this program, this project that would take uh, desperately needed humanitarian aid to Gaza. In response to IFCO's efforts to support the Palestinians by sending medical supplies to Gaza on the Viva Palestina flotillas, IFCO was accused of being a terrorist organization, and several members of Congress asked the Internal Revenue Service to investigate them. The uh, flotilla was really uh, an effort to um, support the people of Gaza, uh, who had um, um, elected uh, their government, Hamas, and um, the, these, these Republican and, and conservative Congress people contacted the IRS to say that you ought to check out IFCO because uh, we fear that they are uh, in some way supporting terrorism. In the United States, religious organizations are exempt from paying taxes, but now the IRS seeks to revoke IFCO's status and prevent it from functioning as a legal religious organization. IFCO sees this as an act of retaliation for their support of the Palestinian people. The forensic investigator uh, wants to recommend to the IRS that our 501c3, our tax-exempt status, be revoked, and um, we feel this is an outrage. IFCO is planning to fight the IRS in court and is raising money from its supporters, expecting a lengthy legal battle. As IFCO goes to court to maintain its right to function as a legal religious organization, its leaders say they have no intention of ceasing their efforts for social justice. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.